Hey everybody, my name is Willie Davis, a real estate entrepreneur from Metro Detroit. And catch me this week on The Jesse T Show. Willie, hey. welcome to the show, brother. Good morning. Dude, how about yesterday, huh? <laughs> Hanging out on a Sunday on the Beltline in Atlanta? It was great. It was amazing. Yeah, right? and I just got into town too a few hours ago, so yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Hell yeah. It feels great. I love Atlanta. Yeah, dude. Yes. I know. I know you're uh, you're gonna be. I don't know if this is. We could talk about this yet, but you're, you're eyeing Atlanta potentially. <laughs> I love Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just leave that there. Um, yeah. So so welcome, and and I know that uh, you know we have a mutual friend. Yes. Tammy McQueen. Tammy McQueen. Amazing yes. human being. She is. Three of us got to hang out yesterday at uh, New Realm Brewing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Was that your second time, third time? Gosh, I think every time I go there mm. or come in town, I go there. So you go there a lot. You've probably yes. been there more than I was I actually there a month ago. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> so they know you. They're like welcoming. Like, oh, here he comes again. So yes. New Realm Brewing Company is really cool. There's this place in Atlanta that they've really done a really great job with over the years called the Beltline. The Beltline yes. area it runs kind of like through Midtown-ish. And you have all these beautiful uh, new concepts over the last few years, like these old yeah. factories that were redone and turned into like multi-unit, uh, you know, businesses and yes. living places and restaurants. And so you have one that's Pont City Market on one end. You have Krog over on the other end. Yeah, just this really cool, you know. And then the Beltline itself is a place for people that are on scooters and running and bikes and skateboards. Yeah. And if it's busy enough, you got to be careful. Like you yeah. got to dodge people. <laughs> well, it's funny too, because when I was at the airport yesterday flying in from Detroit, I seen this guy um, going around the airport on a skateboard. And in my mind, I'm like, how are you? First of all, I can barely stay on a skateboard mm -hmm. anyway, but mm -hmm. I'm like, how are you navigating to the airport? But you know, that also reminds me of how the Beltline has evolved. You know, I've been coming to Atlanta many times a year for the last five, six years. And you know, it used to be a place where it just, just to go exercise. Yep. And then as it's built up over the years and it's connecting neighborhoods and communities. So yeah, that's, that's an amazing area. It's insane, dude. It's like, uh, I love it over there because I grew up in the city of Boston and mm -hmm. just outside the Beltline, you kind of get this neighborhoody feel, but within yes. just a few minute walk, you just get right kind of like more of a city vibe and it's yeah. like right there mm -hmm. so it kind of feels like home a little bit i have some friends down over there that we you know just go either go work out or we go eat and it's just like a nice it's like a adult play place it is it's really fun <laughs> it's really cool you meet it amazing is. people they get a skate park over there um you get skateboarders rollerbladers which i did both growing up for a little bit rollerblading more than skateboarding and then you have a beautiful and this speaks to my heart because i used to what we call tag but graffiti yes yes it's everywhere down there it is and now like especially with a lot of like civil rights stuff mm -hmm. that's coming back to fruition and yeah. like a lot of people that are voicing their opinions you see this beautiful artwork it's it just everywhere. popping up over there mm -hmm. and i spent probably a good couple hours there the last time i was there just walking through and look because I, I admire the artwork yeah and there's these little things on the side the paved walls that kind of go up into the where the bridges are kind of like the overpasses yeah. and like there's these little like almost inconspicuous pieces of art where you open up a box and like there's these good fortunes in there oh wow and it yeah. said i actually have one and I, well maybe not in here um i think i left it that's from actually a fortune cookie i think but, <laughs> but basically it's just like this beautiful amalgamation of of culture and spirit and just it's, it's beautiful to see what's happening over there absolutely and then you know you know in detroit too there's a lot of um, local artists even some from across the country too yeah. um that have been painting just amazing murals and and the thing I love about it and you know even kind of the same here it's bringing people together For sure. you know my girlfriend and I will go to downtown Detroit or even some of the other outside areas um, and just check them out you know and seeing the murals with the names on it um, them representing local um, heroes yes. whether it be nurses firefighter yep. you know firefighters or policemen so every every town has yes. a story uh, you know Atlanta's really big MLK is from here yes. and there's a lot mm -hmm. of like civil rights like like prominence that's yes. happened in Atlanta and it's 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 interesting that we we haven't gotten to where we should be by now. You know what I mean? Yes. Equality for everyone, right? Absolutely. Like everyone's equal. And and it's it's sad that there's people that don't believe that and don't feel that. Yes. You know? What's your, and this is kind of going off into the more oh, personal realm, but what's yes. your experience been over like during COVID, especially with like a lot of like the riots? Were there a lot of riots happening in Detroit? For, like Atlanta oh, yeah. was a hotbed for that. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, early on there, there were some, yeah. um, but most of them were peaceful protests. And, and I believe that there were some bad people attaching themselves to a good cause for and sure. good movement. And, yep. you know, so we had a curfew for, I think about four or five days and then that curfew kind of weeded a lot of it out. Good. But 
over over these last few months we've been seeing a lot of people just coming together and having peaceful protests all over Metro Detroit yep. for you know various things and and you know and it's it's just been an amazing thing to see come out of an unfortunate event yeah you know some beauty and, out of the disaster so to speak, abs right? absolutely yeah. you know and and a lot of times you know myself i i hope that it's not temporary yep. you know uh you know with brianna taylor you know they're always saying say her name don't forget her name and yep. um george floyd and, and everybody else that you know were before them and we just hope that that people just don't forget forget what we're doing this for and realizing that at the end of the day we all this impacts all of us for sure you know for sure if if you're a black person it impacts you in a way if you're a white person or even if you're a person who is ignorant to the fact that this is going on yeah.